What's going on, everyone? So arguably the biggest acquisition for the Los Angeles Lakers outside of, you know, returning the core from last year uh, was Christian Wood, a 6'10", versatile, sizable guy that can play the center position, play the power forward position, even with his abilities to defend out on the perimeter as well as knock down the three ball at a 38% clip, can even play the three spot. Darvin Ham talked about that uh, when he was you know, doing the press conferences and stuff, uh, maybe even giving looks at Wood at the three, kind of like how Utah does with Laurie Markkinen. That was something that I talked about like a month ago now uh, about that potential idea, made a whole video breaking it down. But this is a guy that just provides so much stability on the offensive end for the Lakers, gives the Lakers some Anthony Davis insurance when he's out for games. Uh, you know he's going to very likely miss 20 plus games. I know Anthony Davis says his goal is 82 games a year, but even if he was able and healthy, I don't think the Lakers would allow that even if he wanted to. Uh, but Christian Wood is a guy that can really make that impact. And I mean, this is a guy that is complete game changing. Uh, there's no doubt about that. The one question though is the defensive side of things, right? Now, Christian Wood has talked about uh, just his role and his fit with the Los Angeles Lakers, him coming in and he's willing to do whatever it takes, whether it's coming off the bench, whether it's you know starting, whatever is needed from him, that's what he wants to do. He addressed even the allegations, which I really enjoy and appreciate him kind of just taking it head on and saying like, hey, look, like outside of Houston, that's where I got this stigma of like, I'm a poor locker room guy. I'm a poor, you know, uh, just presence on a basketball team, he was like, that was me defending a teammate. And he's like, I would do that all over again. You know, I always got my teammates backs. I appreciate that. I enjoy that. Uh, defensively, I've broken it down to the numbers, right? Have a whole video about it. I'll even link it down in the description below if you want to check that out. And he's not that bad defensively. Like he's not elite. He's not Anthony Davis level defensively, but he is pretty good defensively. Average 1.1 blocks. He's actually really good defending out on the perimeter, and he even talked about how, you know, his switching defense is something that he needs to improve on and that he worked hard on, uh, and then his pick and roll defense. Both Anthony Davis and Jackson Hayes are both very good pick and roll defensive big men, so he can learn from him. Anthony Davis has already talked about how Christian Wood has approached him and asked him, like, about certain things and helping his game and helping him to improve. I love that. Christian Wood is in an excellent opportunity because he's versatile as a big man like Anthony Davis, right? Offensively, Christian Wood can do pretty much everything. It's just Anthony Davis is superstar next level. And then also the defensive side, I don't see Christian Wood ever being that. But on the defensive end, I can see him having a real impact. Again, this is a guy 6'10 with a, what, like a 7'3 wingspan, 7'4 wingspan. Guy that can absolutely make an impact. Now, if he is in a position like Dallas where Dallas is trying to use him as Anthony Davis and be the only deterrent on a bad defensive team where guys are literally getting blown by and now Christian Wood has to be put on this island, then yeah, he's not going to be very good defensively. But we've seen him actually present some good defensive stints. He was great against us, against the Lakers. Go back and watch that last Mavs game uh, where he was just dominating us on the defensive side. He has it in him. It's the commitment. It's the drive. It's him actually buying in and putting in the effort. I love that now we're in training camp, and one of the big words, Lakers news, that's coming out of training camp is Christian Wood has been excellent on the defensive side. Now, of course, it's training camp. So we don't want to put too much into like Anthony Davis all, or uh, Christian Wood all of a sudden becoming Anthony Davis, right? But the idea of him being a solid defensive player, we don't need him to be elite. We don't need him to be top five in the league or anything like that. He just needs to be good enough to fit within the defensive schemes here. We have great defensive perimeter guys that are going to funnel the offensive player to Christian Wood. Christian Wood isn't going to have very many moments where he's just kind of stuck there on this island and has to make decisions. No, he's going to play within the defensive schemes. He's probably going to play alongside Anthony Davis on a good amount of occasion, where Anthony Davis... He makes up for so much on the defensive side. And for Christian Wood to know that Anthony Davis has my back as the help defender, as the blind side defender, I mean, good luck. Like Christian Wood has all the tools. 
right? He has everything you could ask for to be a legit two-way player in this league. And offensively, again, there's brilliance, right? 17 points, eight rebounds. He's going to help with the offensive production. He's going to help with the point or the rebounding production. I do believe he's going to help on the defense side and blocking shots. Now, I don't know if he'll be 17 a game, right? But I think he's at least probably 14, you know, anywhere maybe let's call it 13 to 15 a game. Because I do think he's, for the most part, going to be coming off the bench. I do think that the games where Anthony Davis doesn't play, or maybe even LeBron, if LeBron doesn't play, I could see him getting more minutes and getting more opportunity, and then maybe that helping throughout the course of the year kind of raise his his point total. Right? I wouldn't be completely shocked if he is averaging like 17 by the end of the year. With all of like the games where everybody's healthy and everyone's playing, I think Christian Wood will probably be around 13 to 15 a game, which is still excellent. And he still is one of the six guys on this roster that on any night could just go give you 20, go give you 30, and no one would be shocked or surprised at all. But again, the questions with Christian Wood and the reason the Lakers were able to get him for a vet minimum contract, which by the way is probably the best value contract in the league as far as what he's capable of doing is he's had this stigma of just being a culture issue, being a bad locker room and bad teammate. And, you know, beyond that, his lack of defense. And if he can fix and sew both of those things up, the Lakers got an absolute grand slam type of deal here because again, offensively, no issues. He's going to have a major impact on the offensive side. It's can he buy in to the team? Can he buy into the system? Is he going to cry and complain if he's not able at some point to earn that starting spot or he's not getting the minutes that he's expecting or thinks he's going to, right? Like, let's say he only gets 15 to 20 minutes a game. I think he'll probably be around 20 to 23 minutes a game. But let's say he only does get 15 to 20 minutes a game. Does that become a problem? Right? In his interviews during media day, he said all the right things, right? He talked about how, you know, he just wants to win. He could care less. And he felt that this gave him the best opportunity. He felt that, you know, his relationship with Darvin Ham uh, would go a long way. He has a relationship with Anthony Davis. He talked about how Anthony Davis was calling him regularly, recruiting him, saying, dude, you and me alongside each other, good luck to the rest of the league, that kind of thing, right? He he answered all the questions head on, even the ones that were a little controversial and stuff like that, and and carried himself in the manner that you would hope, right? Now it's time to translate that to the actual season. He is going to be a huge part of this Lakers team, the Lakers' success, and if the Lakers win this NBA championship like I think they will, That's going to be so massive. Again, it's going to go such a long way for him and his career. He's just got to focus, lock in, lock down on both sides of the basketball, be committed. Because if he's just a complete defensive liability, which again, I don't believe he will be. But if he is for whatever reason, then it's going to be hard to convince him playing over a guy like Jackson Hayes, who you know is going to get after it. He's a good defensive pick and roll guy. Maybe not the best as far as like being the main deterrent at the rim. But that's for him is kind of more just lack of discipline, right? Because he is so young and inexperienced once he kind of learns that role. I mean, Anthony Davis even compared him to like a, a, the, a modern JaVale McGee, right? And that was a lot of JaVale's issues early on. As he got older, he kind of got better at it and understanding timing and stuff like that. But if Wood is out there and just, you know, not buying in, not being committed, that's going to be a real problem. And then also in the locker room, can he buy in? Will he be committed? If he does, then this is going to be a match made in heaven, and the Lakers are going to be extremely tough to beat. Extremely tough. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Uh, what are your thoughts on Christian Wood? You know, How do you feel uh, he will impact the Lakers this year? Do you think he's going to be a Im- big impact player that's really going to change the the tides for the Lakers this season and be a big key in them and their success and even potentially win an NBA championship? Do you think he'll buy in on both sides, both the defensive side as well as the offensive side? 
you know, and do you think he'll buy in, of course, on the locker room side? Because, again, that's as important as anything else. Um, you know, all seems fine right now. With the season hasn't even begun, right? We're, we're in training camp. We do have NBA basketball today, which is great. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to that. And the Lakers play on Saturday. Cannot wait. But, again, love to hear your thoughts and opinions. How do you feel? Down in the comments.